Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocrats. In today's video, we will see how to interface encoder with 40SSC FX5 uh, simple motion module. So we have three methods like uh, first is using the encoder directly on the connector of FX5-40 SSC simple motion module. The second method is using encoder via CPU that is on PLC. So what we can do is we can use any high speed counter of PLC and then link the values into the simple motion module buffers. And the third method is using the encoder via servo amplifier. So here we will discuss about the first and second method that is our encoder directly on the connector and the second is encoder via CPU. So let's get started. So first we will, use, we will see how we can uh, directly interface the encoder on the simple motion module. So double click on the simple motion module here and the module information. So we have this uh, parameter here. So in the parameter section, we have PR24, PR89, and PR151 that are relevant to the uh, encoder. So first we have PR24. We have three, four options here. First is A and B phase mode, four multiple, then two and one. Then we have pulse oblique sign. So in the four multiple, what we will have is we, if the encoder is suppose the 1024 ppr then we will get 4048 uh, pulses in the single rotation if we are if we are using four multiple so basically what this will do is the pulses we are getting from the encoder it will multiply it by four the second uh, parameter is volt uh, we have two options here differential output type and voltage output type in the voltage output type, we will be using A and B phase of the encoder. And if we are using the differential output type, then we will need uh, A and A bar, B and B bar. So total four inputs. So let's suppose we have this voltage output and character type. Here we have the uh, logic. We can select if the pulses are negative logic or positive logic. Let's say it's positive logic. This is the thing you require in this. Then we can go to the synchronous control parameters here. And in the synchronous control parameter, input access parameters. Let's only select the synchronous input access parameters. So here we have options like if you want to use the encoder directly on the motion module, then we select the here one that is incremental synchronous encoder. For this, we have this uh, unit setting also and speed setting and conversion and etc. Here we can also restrict the motion. So if you are doing these settings, then you will be able to get the uh, encoder pulses in your uh, PLC. Now, if I want to uh, zero the current uh, values of the uh, encoder, so I need a simple program for this let's say m1 is my bit to reset the encoder pulses reset encoder pulses okay so for this what we need to write is demove k0 u1 of the g uh, 3 5 0 4 Comment is axis one synchronous encoder axis current value. Okay. Then we have uh, one more like uh, M O V K one Q one oblique G three five zero four zero. So this is also a request to. So when you press M1, the value of zero will transfer here and the request is also transferred as one. This values will be automatically con uh, convert to zero once the value is set. Now, if we are using the other 
part that is second method that is our synchronous encoder via CPU. In that case, we need to define the pulses like 8192 here. If I'm getting 8192 pulses in the single rotation, then uh, after this, I have to write a small program. Let's say uh, true DHCMOV move SD4500 that is my channel 1 that is FX5U channel 1 that is for high speed counter. So I am directly moving these values to U1 of the G35046. So what says axis one input value for synchronous encoder via CPU. So this is my word for that, and this is my high speed counter of PLC. Now with this, or I need to do one more thing. I need to O U T U U one oblique G three five zero four five dot zero. I need to enable this bit also. This is access one connection of synchronous encoder via CPU. So this section will be used only if I'm using this 210 here. Otherwise, I do not require this if I'm using simply one here. Okay. And uh, this part is common for both and as it will automatically uh, uh, reset the value of encoder. So if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.